I believe the Chicago Bears are going to go 4-12 and 12 in 2020. They named Mitchell Trubisky their starting quarterback. And, oh, man. When I heard that, when I read that headline, I cringed. It wasn't good. It's like, really? Come on, guys. Either Mitchell Trubisky got way, way better, or more likely Nick Foles, who they traded for to compete with Mitchell Trubisky, Maybe Nick Foles simply wasn't very good. Uh, Bears fans are hoping that Trubisky got better. I'm with you. I'd like to see Trubisky succeed. I don't hate the guy. But I believe it's more likely that Nick Foles just did not come in with a ton of intensity and he failed to win the job rather than Trubisky really is this incredible savior for the Bears franchise. The Bears offense is interesting. I like their running back, Tariq Cohen. They've got two solid receivers, Ted Ginn Jr., and a really great receiver, Allen Robinson, who used to be a Jacksonville Jaguar. I can't believe the Jaguars let him leave. The, uh, the Bears added tight end Teddy, uh, Jimmy Graham. Teddy Graham. What's Teddy Graham? Is that like a, that's a snack, I believe. The Bears added Jimmy Graham, a tight end I really like. They also drafted stud tight end out of Notre Dame, Cole Komet, in the second round. Jimmy Graham was a weird move. He seems to be declining, but I like Cole Komet. Is there some promise there at tight end? The defense is led by edge rusher Khalil Mack. Akeem Hicks is back as an interior defensive lineman for the Bears. He was injured last year. He only played in five games. Having Akeem Hicks back is going to be a big impact on Khalil Mack's season, believe it or not. Having them work together inside and outside, it's going to make Khalil Mack more effective. I also like linebacker, inside linebacker Roquan Smith. They added Robert Quinn, a pass rusher from Dallas. Now, on the back end, I like Eddie Jackson at safety. I like corner Kyle Fuller. This defense is very, very solid. The problem is the Bears need to score points. And I forgive my stubbornness. I refuse to give Mitchell Trubisky the benefit of the doubt. He doesn't deserve it. Trubisky's got a lot to prove. I would love to see Mitchell Trubisky make me look silly and dominate the league. I am rooting for Mitchell Trubisky. But when it comes time to say, hey, Zach, Do you believe in the Chicago Bears in 2020? I go, who's their quarterback? Oh, it's Mitchell Trubisky? Eh, I I don't buy in. I can't believe in the Bears winning a lot of games because I simply do not believe in their quarterback, Mitchell Trubisky. Until he proves otherwise, he will never get the benefit of the doubt from me. And at this point, I believe that's fair.